The time is now. On everything. Took my heart away from money. I ain't interested in fame. And I pray that never change. Ambition is priceless. It's something that's in your veins. And I put that on my name. Can't tell me I can't compete. Cause he's he's pushed himself to the limit. So somebody out there seeing this, it has been an opportunity. Grinding since five. No days off. I'ma keep going. This right here is where it all started. This is where I grew up um, in Green Run, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, basically, what y'all see, this this the alleyway to where I lived at. This is when I told you when I was a little kid getting in trouble. We, we used to fight back here, actually. This spot right here. Play hide and go seek. We used to do a bunch of stuff back here. I got some memories back here. I ain't been here in years. This, this house right here, actually, this is where I grew up at. Uh, around here, this uh, is this where we played backyard football. This is how I started, because I ain't played in no school. I didn't play no, I played right here. This is where it all started, man. Ain't, ain't nobody can tackle me. Everybody, all the kids around here used to be scared to tackle me. <laughs> I remember I used to, uh, I used to make kids play football. They, <laughs> like, you wanna come outside and play football? I'm like. Nah, man, or they make an excuse. I gotta eat dinner. You gotta eat dinner? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, the year, the only year I ever played in uh, school, collegiate sports, period. Um, it went good, man. Like, I love it. That was my first experience really playing with a group of guys and uh, learning, learning football. And, um, it helped me a lot. I mean, like, out of high school, I didn't have no offers. Nobody knew who I was. I only played one year. But, uh, Coach Beard, Coach Daly, Coach Bowden, they, uh, they helped me out a lot. Uh, he had to overcome a lot in high school. Uh, he had to work hard um, to improve his grades so that he was eligible. He had to work hard to learn our football systems. Uh, he had to work hard to learn how to trust uh, people that were looking out for his best interest, that includes his coaches, his teachers, his friends, and uh, he finally learned how to do that. He Coming here is basically showed me how to work with a team. Before I was all about me, like, like I said, I, I won't listen to nobody, my mom, dad, nobody. So it's helped me out a lot, be able to bond with a bunch of guys doing the same thing I'm doing. And they cared about you. And they helped me go along a way to go to JUCO, have a bunch of guys doing the same thing from different parts of the world, but well, well, the United States. And then just carry it on. I went to ECU and it was, it was a big family. This is a start. This will help me start off my journey. After playing one year of high school, going straight to California, like, uh, just straight out of high school, I had to go out there and. When I, and I, I go to a school that's in the middle of the mountains, nowhere around, and don't know nobody. You, you have a coach that doesn't believe in you once you get out there, but before you get out there, he was praising you, wanting you to come in. So, I mean, that was one of my obstacles. I, I mean, I had to go through a lot out there. It took me five games to be able to play one game. And that fifth game, I'm. I rushed for over 180 yards, and they still didn't believe me. Second game, my mom come uh, all the way from California, from from Virginia. Uh, he still didn't start me. Let me play second quarter. I rushed for five touchdowns, 200 yards. Third game, still didn't believe me. And so after doing all of that, I mean, I made the best of it. I mean, after five games, I became All-American. So I mean, 
I, I felt I overcame that obstacle. I'm, I'm fortunate to have parents I have. My mom always been there for me emotionally, and my dad always been there to teach me to be a man. And like my father always told me, if you want something like you, I work for it. Cause growing up, he never had anything handed for him. So he said, son, if you, if you want something, you had to work for it. And he worked hard all his life. And he just trying to pass it down. Some knowledge to tell me, if you want it, go get it. And he always been a big supporter of me. And I'm, I'm glad to have parents in my life like them. And I love them with, with all my heart. Right now, I'm in the process of starting a foundation. It's called the I Believe Foundation. And uh, it's basically, it's dedication. For, it's, it's for my mother. Because um, a few years back, 10 years to be exact, um, she was diagnosed with cancer, breast cancer. And like growing up all through my life, I had to deal with that. And that was some of the problems I was going through and with anger issues, trying to figure out why, why, why my mother. Um, I think we're during my illnesses, you know, I, I had cancer and I have lupus and um, Giovanni had to grow up pretty quickly, um, keep a positive attitude. So I think when he's on the field, he's just taking out a lot of aggression. When he's off the field, he's still taking a lot of aggression. But um, I feel like it, it's, it's probably changed his path to, to a more positive path. Because seeing people go through struggles and, and you know, pain, you know, sometimes it builds people up to you know, want to do better and want to strive for more. I realize I kind of take my anger out on her sickness because really I wasn't going through it. She going through it. so. Now she's she survived breast cancer. Now she has lupus, and I see the struggles she go with every day dealing with lupus. So I basically I'm um, gonna start a foundation for uh, people suffering cancer and lupus, just to be able to uh, just spread awareness. The way he's not focused on himself, the way he focuses on everybody else before him. I focus on his community. Um, he goes to my kids' school and he talks to the to the kids there. Make sure they do their homework and stuff like that. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha! He wouldn't let nobody talk to me, no guys talk to me, he wouldn't let nobody like say the wrong things to me. Like everybody had to be my friend because <laughs> he was my big brother. How can I describe Giovanni? Uh, Giovanni is uh, a complicated person. Uh, he has such a good heart. Um, he's just a positive, most of the time, individual. Um, the rest of the time, Giovanni is just striving to be the best that he could be. Um, to describe Giovanni is like describing my heart. It's, uh, it beats, it, 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 it functions, it, it, it drives to the next. He's just a great person. He lives not only towards me, but his whole family. Um, I know that I, I, I did a really good job with Giovanni. He's, you know, he's, a, he's a, good, a good guy, he's got a good heart, and he, I mean, there were times that I would be in here, you know, sick, and he would come in and take care of me. He's just, he's always been like one of ours, and he always will be considered one of ours. We love him just like we do our own. So, 
you know, Christopher has always had a lot of, you know, good friends, and we've always become really close with a lot of his friends. But, you know, the thing about Giovanni is he came in and was like a big brother, you know, to my two mm -hmm. younger kids. And, uh, you know, just, just kind of fit right in. Take, Take them days, days off. A lot of people ask me, like, why, um, why, why, do, why do I do this? Uh, why do I do what I'm doing now? I don't want to just be an athlete. I want to be a motivator. I want to help kids. I want to be an entrepreneur. I, I, I want to be multitasking with everything I do. I want to do everything. But I, I, I speak for for the people that don't believe in themselves. Like I tell people, stop stop dreaming and start believing. Adults too. Because it's a lot of people out there that has so much potential and they don't use what they can do. It's so much potential and it's sad. And because I was once that kid, I was a trouble kid, won't listen to. And I didn't believe in myself. So I took my anger out and went down the wrong path. And and all the investments that people done put in me, my mother, my dads, my coaches, my friends, my teachers, I just wanted to be able to one day to pay them back, not financially, just emotionally, how they always been there for me. And I, I feel I owe a lot of people because a lot of people put that time and investment in me. So I do, I do it for the underdogs, man. For all you out there that, that don't think you can be somebody when you really can, just anything you put your mind to, you can do it. What does take no days off mean to me? It's me getting uh, woken up at like four o'clock in the morning to Giovanni either getting up, uh, going for a run, going to the gym, getting woken up. I'm getting up grinding. You gotta sleep by grind. You gotta do this extra stuff. You know, you're so tired. And you feel like you can't go no more. Push yourself to keep going. I take no days off. Like I, I grind, I grind hard. Everybody see me doing it. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it at all. But I know. I know it's getting me better. Like me doing this extra stuff, gonna make me a better player than that person. And like, like I always say, they sleep by grind. I mean, to take, take no days off, man. It's big time, man. Whatever, whatever you're doing in life right now, you can use that in your life and um. Be down with the cause. Definitely a movement. You now I used it in my life. You know I had to um, go into Liberty University. Some things worked out where I didn't go to the college I wanted to. End up transferring. Uh, Murray State um, had success. Went 31 and five. Led the team in scoring. Won a couple games in the NCAA tournament. And then graduated. It's actually great. A blessing in disguise to take no days off with him. He's pushing it. Some movement. You know, and it, it goes on with everything. Um, whether you're in the military. Uh, if you had a job, any goal you're trying to accomplish, you know what I'm saying? You can't take no days off. You got to go for it. You got to take the initiative to um, get what you want. Look, I'm the king at 2K. Bro, this is what we do, man. We just said it. Bro, this is Tat's spot. We come through here, chill. Get tatted, chill. If I ain't grinding, this is what I'm doing. Chill with my boys. Play 2K, chill. I ain't doing too much. Give me that. Serious, dog. Look at that. What? My boy Nick, that's B.O. It's good, man. I just whooped him up. He was talking all that. He had LeBron James. I came out with Rudy Gay. You know, I did my thing like I usually do. But did y'all get him on camera? It didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. What's up, yo, Tree? Your boy, King Inc. Getting ready to tap. Do what I do on my zone, you know what I mean? Take no days off. I mean, it's basically self-explanatory, you know what I mean? But it's just that everyday grind, you know, that how bad do you want it? How bad do you want to succeed? You know? You gotta go in every day regardless of how you feel, even if you don't want to do it. I mean, you gotta do it. You gotta put that extra foot forward at all times. And when I met G and I see how G striving for his, I was like, yo, you know what I 
know what I mean? That's that's what it is right there. That's that spark right there, you know what I mean? And every day. Right. Take those days off. I got back left on people. Shout out to Rock, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't got nothing to do with the tattoo. <laughs> the tattoo hurt was gone. Take no days off, man. Everything I go by, man. No matter what you do, take no days off. So I had to get it tatted. Everything on me got tatted means something. So that means something. I said I get I, I get a lot of inspiration on a daily basis. You feel me? Coming from just watching everything he been through, watching how he struggled, you know what I'm saying, and grind through and just Overcomes everything in the end, you feel I'm coming from? So, I mean, the grind don't stop. It's an everyday grind, you know what I mean? Oh, no days off, man. It's, it's a big movement, man. It ain't just no football field, weight room. It's whatever you're doing in life to, to see then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, take no days off in my life to influence me by just making me get up and go to work, man. Every morning I get up, and I don't care what I did the night before, I care what happened. I know I got goals, and I got to get my money before I can do anything. You know what I mean? Five o'clock in the morning after staying out till four, I do that. Giovanni's <laughs> uh, I mean, a hard worker. He's always positive. You know, uh, no days off. That's the movement. I mean, he's working to achieve his goals. I mean, fulfill his dreams. Make it to the top. Well, I'm not the only person going through this. I mean, it's plenty. It's other athletes out there in my same position. But it's, it's just. How you overcome adversity and, and every day, like I'm not like that's why I always tell people I, I take no days off because that 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 one that that one day I'm taking off my competition they trying they trying to outwork me so every day everything I do I'm trying to outwork the next man because everybody every everybody it's always gonna be great athletes. They can do the same thing you can do, but it's all about in the end, could, could you outwork that person? When they tired, you stand up strong, and you still good to go to, to go another or down. So I just, I, I'm just, by, by me, just keep going and getting better every day, perfecting my craft. That's how I feel I have an advantage, and it's going to be a great year for me, 2012. It will. It will be a great year. I was first introduced to Giovanni two years ago uh, at a party. A uh, client of mine, an associate by the name of Cam Chancellor, who's now with the Seattle Seahawks, had um, introduced me to Giovanni. We were all having a good time. I gave him my business card and didn't think anything much of it. And then six months or so later, I see this video and it's on World Star. And it's this guy who's doing this insane workout and I go man I know this guy that's Giovanni and not thinking anything else of it maybe another six months goes by and I happen to be on YouTube and I come across the video again but at this point the video shows about 1.5 million views and I'm going wow this thing is really taken off didn't think much of it after that point and then I get a phone call and this was just a few months ago and it's Giovanni and he goes hey man I'd like to meet up with you we definitely need to sit down and talk and I go well, what's what's on your mind he says I got this clothing line so, that's what I'm doing I ain't grinding right here sending out orders going to the post office I just left the post office today and this this is how many orders I had to send out today it was just today when I ain't grind, I get up in the morning, I get it in, take a rest, shower, hit the post office, go back on PayPal, send confirmation numbers, take in more orders. Here you've got this guy who is a novice in the clothing business, who had never done anything as far as 
clothing or apparel or any of this stuff. I mean, you know, he didn't even have a website, really. Who had sold, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of t-shirts and, you know, uh, hats and things all across the globe. And the more I looked at his product and looked at, you know, G as a person and, you know, I realized that this was something I really needed to put my full attention in because Giovanni had tapped into something that I felt like has not really been done yet. And that is, um, he's, to me, created the first motivational clothing line. Well, um, right now I'm about to go talk to these kids. They got a, a kid combine today. Well, high schoolers. I'll go ahead. Just tell them how I feel for real. Just try to motivate somebody. Ain't never, ain't never bad to hurt somebody. No, help somebody. So try to help. If I can help a kid. I already did my job. Giovanni was able to display his attitude, which makes him successful, and then um, decided that he needed to share that in a, in a, in a mechanism and in, 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 in a product that people could identify with more directly and more personally which is with what we put on every day and so there's a there's a, a seamless marriage that has taken place with Giovanni's movement and with his own personal attitude and how it transcends into the clothing. Right, when I was younger I won't I was in the street somewhere going in and out of juvenile I listen to my mother my mom sick I listen to my father fight it had to take me to my mom getting sick and almost dying to start realizing I got to change myself. So from there, I had I, had, I left school 1.8. So when, when y'all coach and y'all mom, when they tell y'all, get y'all grades straight, you really do that. No, no matter what it is, you can't go nowhere without grades. You can be the best football player in the world. You don't go nowhere without grades. So me not listening and being ignorant, I had to go to California. Because I wanted to pursue my dream. I, I, I put my foot in that door. I said, I'm going to do something. The person told me back in the day I wasn't going to be nobody. I said, I'm going to do something. I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to be in the NFL one day. I'm going to do what you say I can do. When, when you want to be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you succeed. And until you get to that point, you don't want to be successful then. Because everybody out here want to breathe. Everybody. It, it just make it just make me mad, like how some people give up opportunities. I played one year of high school. I told myself I'm gonna do something, and I'm gonna do it. And I'm still doing it now. I had no offers out of high school. Some of y'all do. I he even told me about a few of y'all kids. Take advantage of that. Take advantage of every opportunity I had. Cause you only get one chance. One chance. But y'all boys, y'all just keep working, man. Like, whatever y'all coach tell y'all to do, do it and do extra. Older boys, get on the younger boys. Because they look up to y'all. Just like at ECU, the young kids, look, they looked up to us. So y'all got to y'all gotta leave them. Because if, if, if y'all want to win, y'all got to act like one of them. And so, you know, a lot of the testimonies and a lot of the interviews of the various people that have come on from friends and family and so forth and coaches, you know, a lot of these people get a chance to talk about Giovanni as the athlete and some as the family person and as the human being, but I'm just here to talk about Giovanni as the business person, as the entrepreneur, and let the world know that he's definitely coming and he's got something extraordinary that we can all benefit from. Because It's just amazing to me, like, I like I, all the support I can have, like, from people all over the country, like, I mean, I swear, I, I think I, a person from every state got a shirt. I might be missing like Idaho or Wisconsin. Every, I swear everywhere. And I done sold it over 30 different countries, just different places. Uh, I, got, I got a lot of support from everywhere. And it just amazes me. Like I, I get kids that tell me all the time, like, you're, you're my favorite athlete and my favorite player. And I ain't even got there yet. But once I get there, Right, like, and I ain't gonna forget all the people that's been supporting me. Never would. I appreciate everybody, man. Early 525, right now. I had grind, man. <sighs> Tired, man. Still yawning. Got a long day ahead of me. I'm back at it in a little bit. Probably get a little sweat, nice little run on the beach. 
I come down here because a lot of, you, you can run anywhere. Yeah, I can run anywhere, but I feel I feel I feel more relaxed and I get time to think about everything, about life, or what I'm going through. And, uh, and I pray I pray to God, pray to God down here, talk to Him. Thank, thank him for everything, man. But thank him for uh, every breath he gives me. Yeah, that's what I do, man. That's my life. Since day one. Like straight out of high school, I've been working out with Keevan. Like he ain't, he ain't just been my trainer. He always, he also been my mentor. Like a big brother, a father. Like anything I ever needed, he always been there. Um, we we talked about everything, not just football related life and what I want to do and my family. We talk. He tell me his problems. I tell him my problems. So he, he more like family to me. I, I do a, I do a lot of explosion, explosion. Know, quick, quick stuff you know quick movement quick reaction you know um, running up Mount Trash more which I think is one of the toughest workouts you can ever do I played with Jerry Rice and and I used to talk to Jerry Rice a lot when we was in practice and stuff and he's always told me he always trained in the mountain training the mountain and a good a good friend of mine James Church and that's what he had us doing training in Mount Trash more so stuff he taught me I had Giovanni do the same thing. From, from the first day to last, I told you he remind me of myself a lot. Every time he work out, he go all out. Every time he work out, he's throwing up. <laughs> you putting in the work. They don't, they don't understand how bad I want this. Man. They, don't, they don't understand. They don't see my vision, man. You give me an opportunity. You gonna see what I'm gonna do with it. You can't. You can't tell me. There ain't nobody can tell me I don't want this shit. Nobody can tell me I don't want this. I, a lot of people want to die for that, you know, I die for my, I want this. Every day, that's what I'm doing. Everybody else, you take to be folks great, on they don't, I'm, this is what I'm doing every day. This is what it takes to, to be get great. better and get where I want to go. It's a kid dream. Let's go. You want to clock, baby. You want to clock, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I say go. Good, 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 good. good. As an athlete, especially mainly a running back, he's versatile. You can split him out wide, he play receiver, he has great hands, um, good flexibility, you know what I'm saying? With good flexibility comes good speed, uh, great vision, he's able to see the field and make the first defender miss and you know, do what he does best after that. Say that anytime you start off a workout, we always want to start off with a lot of quick feet um, because you can never feed are the most important thing as a football player. He has natural leadership ability, uh, he's a hard worker. Uh, probably one of the hardest workers that I've had in the gym. Bend that back knee. Bend that back knee, dog. There you go. Come on. Stay steady. Come on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, <laughs> come on. Let's go. Come on. Giovanni's always had athletic ability. Um, he's six two and a half. He's you know between two hundred and two twenty five. Uh, he can run. Uh, he's got great balance. He's got great hands for a running back. Um, he's he's a complete package when you start looking at a, a, a running back in the NFL. I was very fortunate over my career to have coached 23 kids that have been on rosters in the NFL. Uh, Giovanni hasn't made it yet, but I'm sure within the next year or two he will be on the NFL roster. He, he's good enough to play at that level.
it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money, and so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he like, this guy crazy. Adrian, like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area, the shoulder area. So this old man, crazy. He making money, but he crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man, like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratching, holding him down. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Yo, my man Giovanni, yo, I, look. Bananas, baby. I first came across you. I mean, you doing your thing. You did it big. The no shirt boy, that's what it was. When I first came across you, world star hip hop. And it's crazy because the video had already blew up and people was like, yo, E.T., it's back on. I'm thinking, secret, it's back on? And man, I checked that joint out, man. You was on there doing your thing. So world star hip hop was the first time I saw the Giovanni video. And then I had people hit me all the time. Just like, yo, E.T., did you see that video, boy? Did you see that video? I don't know if you heard. Some dude got your stuff. He's blowing it up. E, you on the background of that joint. So then after that, everybody started doing one. So mad respect to my man Giovanni. Yo, Giovanni, keep doing what you're doing. Hey, and make the rest of your life the best of your life, bro. It's your boy, E.T. If, if I can speak to a kid, and motivate him, mm -hmm. I feel I did my job. Like if, even if it's a thousand kids and I help one, right. I feel I did my job. Um, that, when I got um, arrested at right, school, it was a, uh, man, I feel that was a, I needed to go through that. Cause I mean, I feel, in life, everyone, you need to go through something to overcome something. And I, and I needed that. And at the time, I mean, it, it, met, it did mess me up a lot, football-wise, because I had to kind of backtrack. And it did mess me up NFL-wise, it backtracked me. But I, I mean, like I say, I believe everything in life is for a reason. And there's a reason that happened. 
changed it changed a lot. I mean, I, I never really did the video to I never did it to really try to get views and just just to promote myself or nothing. I made a video for myself really just just to show people like what I go through. And I mean along the way it helped a lot of people. So I mean I mean it was a good thing that came I did it at the right time because I mean I changed a lot of people's lives and a lot of people uh, contacted me from all over the world and I mean it got a lot of views and stuff that's cool but not but helping people what got me like motivated me more actually. <laughs> Why not? Take no days off, that's the way it's gotta be We up and on our ground while the competition is sleep It's constant repetition till you can do it with ease Cause it's us against them and it's just you and me That's true indeed, it hurts to ride around my city And look and see all the poverty It's like a black hole trying to swallow me But this is God given, I'm a living prophecy So everywhere I go I take him with me, he's a part of me All this negativity, hating what they can hardly see But this my destiny, I owe you no apologies Only want the positive population to rock with me Staying humble, God and family, I swear that's all I need You, you do this for thrills, you do it and chill I do it with skill, I do this for real I did it cause I do this, who would've knew it appeal? Tim Tebow, I do it and days off, that's the way it's gotta be We up and on the ground while the competition is sleep You must be out your mind to tell me you don't believe The people that's at the top are no different from you and me Take no days off, no days off Take no days off, no days off Take no days off, that's the way it's gotta be The people at the top are no different from you and me Determined by your actions If you pursue your passions And how you handle distractions Heavy on the workload Moderate relaxing And push towards your goals Even when it seems taxing So I gotta tell my peers They can wait I've been chasing this opportunity For years and it's fate You can look at the struggle The sweat, tears in my face Man, I'm getting my mama That big crib with the gate From hustling, dedication I'm sitting around and waiting You want something in life And you gotta get out and take it So many of them try But not a lot of them make it I just feel like it's my time I'm over to being patient You, you do this for three you do it and chill, I do it with skill, I do this for real I did it cause I do this, who would've knew it appeal? Tim Tebow, I do it and days off, that's the way it's gotta be We up and on the ground while the competition is sleep You must be out your mind to tell me you don't believe The people that's at the top are no different from you and me Take no days off, no days off Take no days off, no days off Take no days off, that's the way it's gotta be The people at the top are no different from you and me you have a vision, is that just a thought or do you really want it? We all have dreams, through the dark night scattered broken thoughts Questioning do you really want it? Well you can keep questioning, cause that just shows you don't really want it Stop making excuses and make a step, that just means you're one step closer Dreaming is overrated, cause you ever realize when you dream and you think it's real You wake up you realize it's not, well stop dreaming and stop believing I don't worry about who believes in me, as long as I believe in myself Already won. Take no days off, that's the way it's gotta be We up and on the ground while the competition is sleep You must be out your mind to tell me you don't believe The people that's at the top are no different from you and me Take no days off, no days off Take no days off, no days off Take no days off, that's the way it's gotta be The people at the top are no different from you